Dixie Carter, an actress known for her warmth and charm on screen, made a significant mark in the entertainment industry. With her memorable role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women, she became a beloved figure in many households. Her ability to bring characters to life with grace and humor won her admiration from audiences and peers alike. Beyond her acting, Dixie's dedication to her craft and her presence on stage and television left a lasting impression on the world of acting. Dixie Carter was an actress known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women. She brought warmth and strength to her characters, making her a beloved figure on screen. We invite you to share your favorite work of Dixie Carter and any special memories you have of her. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, and we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Stay tuned as we reveal more about Dixie Carter, including some funny, shocking, and touching facts about her life and career. Dixie Carter, born in 1939 in Tennessee, grew up in a home where the arts were valued. Her mother was a music lover who encouraged Dixie's interest in performing. From a young age, she learned to play the piano and showed a natural ability for singing, which led her to perform at local events. Her father, a businessman, supported her ambitions, but also instilled in her the importance of education. During her school years, she participated in numerous school plays which helped her develop her acting skills. She went on to study English and drama in college, further honing her craft. Her early exposure to theater and music, coupled with the support of her family, laid the foundation for her successful acting career. Key figures in her life, such as her college drama teacher, played a significant role in guiding her towards professional theater, which eventually led to her television success. Dixie Carter was an actress known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women. Her performance brought strong, smart, and stylish Southern women to television screens at a time when such roles were rare. She helped change how women from the South were viewed in popular culture. Her work on the show and her career in general, which included roles on Broadway and other TV series, showed that women could be both elegant and powerful. Dixie Carter's presence in Hollywood encouraged more diverse and complex roles for women, influencing the industry during her time and leaving a lasting mark on the roles available to actresses today. Her grace and strength continue to inspire actors and audiences alike. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women, found her love for acting during her time in college. While studying at the University of Tennessee, she took part in a production of Carousel and played the lead role. This experience on stage was transformative, igniting a passion for performing that she had not fully realized before. The applause and connection with the audience gave her a sense of joy and purpose, leading her to pursue acting as a career. Her journey began in local theaters, where she honed her skills and grew more confident in her abilities. This early stage experience laid the foundation for her successful acting career. Dixie Carter stepped into the role of Maggie McKinney on Different Strokes during its sixth season, becoming a key character as Philip Drummond's partner. However, her time on the show was short-lived as she left after the seventh season due to disagreements with Gary Coleman, the show's lead. These conflicts made her experience on the show difficult, and she chose not to discuss it publicly afterwards. In her personal life, Dixie Carter was the stepmother to David Holbrook, further showing her role beyond the screen. Carter is also remembered for her portrayal of Julia Sugarbaker on Designing Women. Despite initial tensions with co-star Delta Burke, the two eventually reconciled. Burke's apology in 22 led to a guest appearance on Carter's series Family Law. Their repair friendship was evident during reunions in 2003 and 2006. The bond between Carter and her co-stars was strong, and Burke was visibly supported by her husband Gerald and Annie Potts after Carter's passing. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women, faced significant challenges early in her career. She struggled financially, which is common for actors starting out, and had to take on various jobs to support herself. The entertainment industry was also skeptical of her southern background and accent, often typecasting her in certain roles. Despite these obstacles, Carter remained determined. She used her unique voice and presence to bring authenticity to her characters, 
eventually earning respect and leading roles. Her journey shows that with hard work and belief in oneself, it's possible to overcome doubts and succeed. Dixie Carter gained attention for her role as Maggie McKinney on the television show Different Strokes, where she and Janet Jackson emerged as notable stars. Steve Roa represents her as her publicist in her personal life. After separating from her first husband, Arthur Carter, he went on to marry Dr. Linda Carter. This marriage made Linda's daughter, actress Ollie Marsh, the stepsister of Dixie's daughters. Ollie Marsh is married to actor Frederick Weller, connecting the family to another actor, Peter Weller, who is Frederick's cousin. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women, had a significant career moment when she joined the cast in 1986. This role showcased her ability to lead a successful show and brought her widespread recognition. Her performance was praised for its sharp wit and strong presence. Another key point was her appearance on the show Family Law, which further solidified her status as a talented actress. Peers and critics alike admired her work, noting her skill in bringing characters to life with authenticity and grace. Collaborators often spoke of her professionalism and the positive atmosphere she created on set. These roles not only defined her career, but also left a lasting impression on audiences in the television industry. Dixie Carter was an actress known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women. She faced challenges in her personal life, including a battle with endometrial cancer. Despite her struggles, she continued to work and inspire others. Her approach to mental health was one of openness and courage. She spoke about the importance of support and care in times of illness. Carter's life showed that personal battles are part of life and facing them with strength can be an inspiration to others. She passed away in 2010, but her legacy of resilience in the face of adversity lives on. Dixie Carter was an actress known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women. Her approach to acting was shaped by her Southern upbringing and her belief in portraying strong, independent women. She often chose roles that allowed her to express her views on society and the importance of female empowerment. Her performances were grounded in her personal values and experiences, bringing authenticity to her characters. She believed in the power of television to influence and reflect social change, which was evident in the types of roles she pursued. Dixie Carter's work continues to inspire many for its honest portrayal of women who stand up for their beliefs. Dixie Carter brought life to the character of Maggie McKinney on the show Different Strokes. She stepped into this role after Marianne Mobley, who had previously played Mr. Drummond's love interest. The show saw a change when Carter took over as Maggie Drummond later in the series. In a sad turn of events, both Carter and her co-star Gary Coleman passed away in 2010, with just over a month separating their deaths. Carter lost her battle with endometrial cancer on April 10 at 70 years old, while Coleman succumbed to an epidural hematoma on May 28 at 42 years old. In Designing Women, Carter portrayed Julia Sugarbaker, a character known for her sharp wit and strong will. She was significantly older than her co-star Delta Burke, who played her sister Suzanne. The show explained the age gap by revealing that their father had remarried, resulting in a half-brother, Clayton, before remarrying their mother. This family history accounted for the difference in Julia and Suzanne's ages. Dixie Carter was an actress known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women. Her performance brought a strong, smart, and stylish character to life, influencing how women were portrayed on TV. She showed that female characters could be both leaders in their careers and personal lives. Experts say she helped change the way stories were told, focusing more on women's experiences and perspectives. Actors who worked with her admired her ability to bring depth and sincerity to her roles. Her work encouraged many to explore similar roles and stories, expanding the range of female characters on television. Dixie Carter shared her birthday with Sir Ian McKellen, both born on May 25. She became well known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television show Designing Women, which was a result of her previous work with Delta Burke and Linda Bloodworth Thompson on Filthy Rich. Their promise to reunite led to the creation of Designing Women. Later, Carter and Burke appeared together again in a 22 episode of Family Law. 
Besides acting, Carter traveled widely to speak publicly and perform in concerts, sharing her experiences and entertaining audiences across the country. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker on the television series Designing Women, had a life full of interests that shaped her work. She was a trained singer and often sang on the show, reflecting her love for music. Off screen, she supported arts education, believing it was key to personal growth. She also cared deeply for animal welfare and supported organizations that helped animals in need. Her southern charm and warmth were not just for the camera, they were part of who she was, and she brought those qualities to her roles and to the causes she held dear. Dixie Carter, known for her work on television, had a sister named Melba Helen Heath. In her early career, Dixie played Maggie, the wife of Conrad Bain's character on different strokes. However, when the show moved to a different network, Mary Ann Mobley took over the role. Later on, Dixie and Mary Ann shared the screen in Designing Women in an episode called A Blast from the Past. In a unique twist, Dixie's real-life daughters, Mary Dixie Carter and Jenna Carter, appeared as her character's nieces in another Designing Women episode, The Naked Truth. Dixie Carter was known for her strong characters and work ethic. She showed that dedication and respect for the craft are key. For those starting out, she advised learning as much as possible and always being prepared. She believed in the power of hard work and treating people well. Her future plans included teaching and guiding new actors, sharing her experience to help them grow. She encouraged actors to stay curious, keep learning, and be open to all roles to build a broad skill set. Dixie Carter, an actress known for her work on stage and screen, experienced both personal loss and professional milestones. Her father, Albert Leroy Carter, passed away in 2007 at the age of 96. In a tribute to her contributions to the arts, the Dixie Carter Performing Arts Center was established in 25 in her home state of Tennessee. Additionally, she graced the stage in Washington, D.C., portraying Mistress Erlen in the play Lady Windermere's Fan showcasing her talent in classic theater. Dixie Carter was a talented actress who brought warmth and strength to her roles. She started on stage and found fame on television, showing a natural ability to connect with audiences. Her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the show Designing Women was a highlight, showcasing her as a smart, confident leader. She inspired many by taking on diverse roles and proving that with hard work and belief in oneself, success is possible. Her story encourages us to stay dedicated and keep creating, no matter the challenges we face. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television show Designing Women, was a dedicated actress who appeared in every single episode of the series. Her journey in acting was shaped by her education, which began at the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and later continued at Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee. In 1988, she took on the role of Mistress Arbuthnot in the play, A Woman of No Importance by Oscar Wilde, performed at the Shakespeare Theater in Washington, D.C., showcasing her talent on stage. Dixie Carter brought life to the character Maggie McKinney on the show Different Strokes. After her departure, Mary Ann Mobley stepped into the role of Maggie Drummond for the show's final season, having been considered for the part when it was first cast. Dixie Carter was open about undergoing plastic surgery, having done so at least twice. Her contributions to the arts and charity work did not go unnoticed. In April 27, she was honored with the Tennessee Governor's Award for Excellence in the Arts and the Evangeline Booth Award for her role as a national spokesperson for the Salvation Army. Dixie Carter, an actress with a strong connection to her Southern heritage, shared her life experiences in her memoir, Trying to Get to Heaven in 1996. Despite her pride in her Southern background and her portrayal of a Southern character on the television show, Designing Women, her personal life reflected a different pattern in her choice of partners. Of her three marriages, only one was to a fellow Southerner, actor George Hearn, which notably was her briefest union. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in Designing Women, had different political beliefs than her character. To balance this, she made a deal with the producers to sing in an episode whenever she had to deliver lines she didn't agree with. 
Her love story began on the set of The Killing of Randy Webster, where she met Hal Holbrook. He won her heart by being the first to respect her unique name. In January 26, she lent her voice to television ads for the Salvation Army, continuing her support after their print and radio messages in 2005. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in Designing Women, moved on from different strokes and was succeeded by Mary Ann Mobley. This change happened during the show's fifth season premiere, where Mobley played a friend of Carter's character. Dixie Carter also has a strong connection to education, having attended Southwestern at Memphis, which is now known as Rhodes College. Her legacy extends to the Dixie, a performing arts and academic center in Carroll County named after her. She helped raise funds for it by performing her cabaret show. The center celebrates her and her husband Hal Holbrook's cultural work. Hal Holbrook contributed to the design of the theater within the Dixie, which led to it being named the Hal Holbrook Theater. Their efforts have brought a variety of performances to the community, from children's classics to innovative plays. Dixie Carter stood out early on, leading her high school class as valedictorian. Her academic excellence was matched by her active participation in the Delta 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 sorority, specifically the Delta Sigma chapter. Carter's talent shone through in her acting career as well notably in her role as Maggie McKinney on the television show Different Strokes. Interestingly, she wasn't the only actress to portray Philip's second wife, Maggie Drummond. Mary Ann Mobley also took on this role. Both Carter and Mobley later appeared on the series Designing Women, not as the same character this time, but as friends. Their shared roles on Different Strokes and their later collaboration on Designing Women highlight a unique connection between the two actresses. Dixie Carter took the stage as Amanda Cross in Southern Comforts in Miami, showing her talent in theater as well as television. Her experience on the show Different Strokes was not a happy one, and she chose not to discuss it publicly. Despite this, she shared a fond memory in her book about Conrad Bain, who brought laughter to her days on set. After Different Strokes, she was asked to return for its revival, but her commitment to designing women meant the role had to be filled by another actress, Mary Ann Mobley. Dixie Carter's journey through these roles reflects the unpredictable nature of an acting career where opportunities and challenges often come hand in hand. Dixie Carter, known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the television series Designing Women, faced a personal battle away from the spotlight. In 2010, she passed away at the age of 70 due to complications from endometrial cancer. This was a disease that affects the lining of the uterus and is often detected at a late stage because its symptoms can be easily overlooked. Her passing left a void in the acting community and among fans who admired her strong on-screen presence. Dixie Carter was a talented actress known for her roles on television. Her performances brought joy and laughter to many. We invite you to share your favorite memories of her work in the comments. If you enjoyed this tribute, please like, share, and subscribe for more content that celebrates the artists who entertain and inspire us. Your thoughts and support help keep the memory of great talents alive for future generations.